have you devised any sort of, uh, I don't know, rules of comedy here? Do you have particular things that you feel work? Um, no, no simple rules. And very often, if I'm not careful, it'll be the, the same idea mm -hmm. in a, a different disguise. And that's why I have to be careful as I add new items. There is the variety in, in kinds of humor. But I, I do find that the, the simplest relationship, the most basic, the strongest idea will be the funniest uh, idea. And again, in that item I keep talking about, um, and it, the hippo is a classic big shape, and the mouse is a classic small shape, and uh, you're dealing with very strong uh, um, basic ideas uh, in your audience then, and I think there's more likely to be uh, strong appreciation of the comedy of it mm -hmm. when they see them in a new, a new relationship. Yeah, I, uh, do you find the response to it in different countries different? I guess it, uh, small things differ. I mean, generally, the audiences are, are very similar, thank goodness. <laughs> and they seem to um, laugh at the same time. But I was a bit surprised at one place in Sweden where they didn't laugh as much uh, at the end of that circus item with the mouse and the hippopotamus where the hippo slides down. And I said afterwards, uh, People didn't seem to laugh so much at that. And I got the reply, we are sorry for the mouse. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Yeah. I think the mouse is, is maybe my favorite puppet of yours. And yes, the fact is that I think I like so it because nothing goes wrong with its joints. Yes. <laughs> they never jam and wire doesn't break because it's all in one piece. <laughs> but people have said to me, I can see the legs of that mouse running up, uh, up the slide. and. Uh, because it has no legs, it, uh, people imagine an awful lot. And what people don't always realize is there are two mice, because one mouse goes that way, and the one that comes on at the end has to be faced in the opposite direction. <laughs> Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O, and on that farm he had a dog, E-I-E-I-O, with a woof woof here and a woof woof there, here a woof, there a woof, everywhere a woof woof, old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O, and on that farm he had a hen, E-I-E-I-O, with a cluck cluck here and a cluck cluck there, here a cluck, there a cluck, everywhere a cluck cluck, with a woof woof here and a woof woof there, here a woof, there a woof, everywhere a woof woof. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. And on that farm he had a... E-I-E-I-O. With a and a here a there a everywhere a with a cluck cluck here and a cluck cluck there cluck here and a cluck cluck there here a cluck there cluck everywhere a cluck cluck with a woof woof here and a woof woof there here a woof there a woof everywhere a woof woof with a crack crack here and a crack crack there here a crack there a crack everywhere a crack crack with a moo moo here and a moo moo there here a moo there a moo everywhere a moo moo with a ba ba here and a ba ba there. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. <laughs> um, I actually learned to sing Old MacDonald had a farm in Japanese. I, I think I might still be able to do it. And, uh, 
。くどなるどさんの農場だ。いやいやよ、かわいい犬がいる。いやいやよ、かくどウフウフウフサウドウフウフウフサウドウフサウドウフタクでもウフウフ。あくどなるどさんの農場だ。そう。Most of them I've been able to get out of. Often, the pile of puppets that I've used with the trays becomes unstable, and I've had to push against it with my leg while working the puppets to stop it. In fact, in one place in New Zealand,、uh, I did have someone watching the show from behind, and had he not been watching, I would have just been surrounded by puppets everywhere because he pushed them back while I went on with the show. Then I've had legs fall off, but usually that hasn't been serious because. Sometimes the the rod is enough to keep it pressed on the screen till I get the puppet off. And once I had to make the repair, I think it was to the hippo in that、uh, circus item.、Uh, while the show was actually running, I was announcing, and now we meet the animals for the last time. I had to rush back to where I had a bit of sticky tape, and so, and I turned round, just caught the sight of half the audience watching me repair the puppet. I was like, and now we meet the animals for the last time. <laughs> This next story is based on a legend of the Australian Aborigines, and it tells how the sun was made. Long, long ago, in the dream time, before there was any sun, Dinawan the emu was trying to count her eggs in the dim light. One. Two, three. No, that's not right. One, two, three, four. No. To make things work, Brolga, the native companion, came by and asked Dinawan to come and dance with her on the banks of the Murrumbidgee. Go away," said Dinawan. "Can't you see I'm trying to count my eggs? Now where was I? One, two. Come and dance," said Brolga. Now you've made me lose count," said Dinawan. "Go away, you silly bird! Go away!" And she pecked and pecked and pecked at Brolga with a strong beak. Then she jumped over her eggs and chased Brolga across the plain. High up in a gum tree, Gugu Gaga, the kookaburra, chuckled as the two birds dodged each other about the trees. <laughs> But suddenly. Brolga dashed back to Dinawan's nest and kicked one of the large eggs up into the air. The egg went up into the sky and there it broke on a heap of firewood. And as the yellow yolk spilt all over it, the wood burst into flame, filling the sky with a wonderful light. Now in the sky there lived a good spirit, and when he saw this beautiful light, he decided to light such a fire every morning. And so, every evening. After the sun fire has burnt down to glowing embers, the good spirit gathers sticks to build the fire for the next morning. On the first morning, the good spirit sent out the morning star to warn the sleeping creatures that the sun fire was coming. The only one to see it was Gugu Gaga. The good spirit realised that he must find some other way of waking all the sleeping creatures, so he asked Gugu Gaga to do it with his loud laugh. Gugu Gaga agreed, and ever since, as the sun fire brightens the sky, Gugu Gaga has wakened all the bush creatures with his loud, noisy laugh. <laughs> the story that I remembered from that very first、uh, performance was the story of the kookaburra. I love the sound that he makes. 
the, do they really make that noise? Oh, they make a wonderful... Uh, it's, it's much better than that. It's an insane cackle. It's, the, it's almost the Australian country laughing back at the people that try to change it. But we, uh, we had, uh, in the place we lived before, a family of kookaburras in the tree just outside our bedroom window, and we'd be woken up at 5 o'clock in the morning sometimes with this mad cackle. You know? Five birds all laughing, sort of insanely. You can't feel go? very angry. <laughs> I can't do it. <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> Something like that. That's not very good. That was a real one. That's it. That will do it. It's great. It sounds wonderful to me. There are things about your show which are very specifically Australian. There's the Aboriginal legend, which of course is from the country even before white settlers came. But, uh, there are a couple of pieces. Even the fish story, it's, that's quite an important story for Australia because we're a, a, a rapidly changing country. We're, you know, we were an Anglo-Saxon culture and very rapidly we've taken in a lot of Europeans, a lot of Asians, and, they, and uh, there are obviously some tensions with all this. It's, the country has accommodated these people very well, but it is a changing place. So that, and also trying to give a, an identity to a country that doesn't uh, but has a changing identity is, uh, is important and difficult. And Super Kangaroo is sort of a celebration of something Australian because yeah. all those images are very Australian. Yeah. When the digger finds a nugget in the gold fields and he thinks his dreams of wealth have all come true, if a bush ranger should come to take it from him, it's another job for super kangaroo. Ho 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 Super kangaroo, super kangaroo, you're a dinky die, bombs a bloke, and we like you. Super kangaroo, super kangaroo, it's another job for super kangaroo. La 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 when the farmer buys a prize ram at the sheep show and he plans to have it meet a pretty you, pretty you. <laughs> if a sheep stealer should come to take it from him, it's another job for Super Kangaroo. Super Kangaroo! Ah! Ho 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 Super Kangaroo, Super Kangaroo, you're a dinky die, bonds a bloke, and we like you. Super Kangaroo, Super Kangaroo, it's another job for Super Kangaroo. La 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 When the black man builds his gunya in the outback on a piece of land that's worth a cent or two if a bulldozer should come to take it from him. It's another job for Super Kangaroo. Oh ho, oh ho, oh ho, oh ho, oh ho, oh ho. Super Kangaroo, Super Kangaroo, you're a dinky die, bombs a bloke, and we like you. Super Kangaroo. Super kangaroo, it's another job for super kangaroo. La 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 Super kangaroo, super kangaroo, you're a 
dinky die bombs a bloke and we like you super kangaroo Super kangaroo. Ah, it's another job for super kangaroo. Tonight on GP, Kathy attempts to help a young man with schizophrenia, but his growing dependence upon her causes a near tragedy. Another dramatic edition of GP, not to be missed tonight at 8.30 on ABC. Stay with us now, though, for Bang Goes the Budgie, coming up shortly. had a farm in Japanese. I, I think I might still be able to do it. Isn't uh Makadonardo Sano Nojo da E I I O Kawa E E Inuga Iru E I I O Coconut Woof 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 So the Woof 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 Coconut Woof So the Woof Dog and Woof 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 Makadonardo Sano Nojo da so and and the cat did you did you do the the right sounds for the animals in the language? Oh yes well Japanese ducks make a different noise they don't go quack quack. So when the horse, which was supposed to make how, a duck sound... How does a duck...? Uh, they go ga-ga. Ga-ga. Ga -ga. Did you know and that the, in... And the cow goes more more. <laughs> I, was, I was thinking in Germany, because I've done Kermit the Frog in Germany every now and then. The frogs in Germany go quack quack. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Do things ever go wrong? Oh, yes. Uh, <laughs> most, uh, most of them I've been able to get out of. Uh, often the pile of puppets that I've used with the trays becomes unstable, and I've had to push against it with my leg while working the puppets to stop it. In fact, in one place in New Zealand, uh, I did have someone watching the show from behind it, and had he not been watching, I would have just been surrounded by puppets everywhere because he pushed them back while I went on with the show. Then I've had legs fall off, but usually that hasn't been serious because sometimes the, the rod is enough to keep it pressed on the screen until I get the puppet off. And once I had to make the repair I think it was to the hippo in that uh, circus item. Uh, while the show was actually running, I was announcing, and now we meet the animals for the last time, and I had to rush back to where I had a bit of sticky tape. And so, and I turned around and just caught the sight of half the audience watching me repair the puppet. <laughs> and, and now we meet the animals for the last time. <laughs> this next story is based on a legend of the Australian Aborigines, and it tells how the sum was made. Long, long ago, in the dream time, before there was any sun, Dinawan the emu was trying to count her eggs in the dim light. One, two, three. No, that's not right. One, two, three, four. No. To make things work, Brolga, the native companion, came by and asked Dinawan to come and dance with her on the banks of the Murrumbidgee. Go away, said Dinawan. Can't you see I'm trying to count my eggs? Now, where was I? One, two, come and dance, said Brolga. Now you've made me lose count, said Dinawan. Go away, you silly bird, go away. And she pecked and pecked and pecked at Brolga with a strong beak. Then she jumped over her eggs and chased Brolga across the plain. High up in a gum tree, go Everywhere a crack crack with a moo moo here and a moo moo there. Here a moo there, a moo everywhere a moo moo. With a ba-ba here and a ba-ba there. Here a ba there, a ba everywhere a ba ba. Here, here, there, there, everywhere. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O.
um, I actually learned to sing Old MacDonald Had a Farm in Japanese. I, I think I might still be able to do it. And, uh, Naruto san no nojo da ia ia o kawaii i inu ga iru ia ia o kokoro woof 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 so the woof 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 kokoro woof so the woof dog and woof 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 Naruto san no nojo da so <laughs> And, uh, and the great. cat. I did you did you do the, the right sounds for the animals in the language? Oh yes, well Japanese ducks make a different noise. They don't go quack quack. So when the horse, which was supposed to make how, a duck sound, how does a duck? Uh, they go ga ga. Ga ga. Did you know and that a cow in, goes more more? <laughs> I, was, I was thinking in Germany because I've done Kermit the Frog in Germany every now and then. The frogs in Germany go quack quack. <laughs> yes. <laughs> do things ever go wrong? Oh yes. Uh, <laughs> Most most of them I've been able to get out of. Often the pile of puppets that I've used with the trays becomes unstable and I've had to push against it with my leg while working the puppets to stop it. In fact, in one place in New Zealand, uh, I did have someone watching the show from behind it and had he not been watching, I would have just been surrounded by puppets everywhere because he pushed them back while I went on with the show. And I've had legs fall off, but usually that hasn't been serious because sometimes the, the rod is enough to keep it pressed on the screen till I get the puppet off. And once I had to make the repair, I think it was to the hippo in that uh, circus item, uh, while the show was actually running, I was announcing, and now we meet the animals for the last time, I had to rush back to where I had a bit of sticky tape. And, so, and I turned around and just caught sight of half the audience watching me repair the puppet. <laughs> and, and now we meet the animals for the last time. <laughs> this next story is based on a legend of the Australian Aborigines, and it tells how the sun was made. Long, long ago, in the dream time, before there was any sun, Dinawan the emu was trying to count her eggs in the dim light. One, two, three. No, that's not right. One, two, three, four. No. To make the la 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 the farmer buys a prize ram at the sheep show and he plans to have it meet a pretty you pretty you <laughs> if a sheep stealer should come to take it from him it's another job for super kangaroo super kangaroo ah ha ha Super kangaroo, super kangaroo, you're a dinky dive, Pond's a bloke and we like you. Super kangaroo, super kangaroo, it's another job for super kangaroo. La 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 when the black man builds his gunya in the outback on a piece of land that's worth a cent or two if a bulldozer should come to take it from him it's another job for super kangaroo oh ho oh ho oh ho oh ho oh ho Super kangaroo, super kangaroo, you're a dinky dive, bombs a bloke and we like you. Super kangaroo, super kangaroo, it's another job for super kangaroo. La 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 Super kangaroo 
super kangaroo. You're a dinky die bombs a bloke, and we like you, super kangaroo. Super kangaroo. Ah, it's another job for super kangaroo. Oh. <laughs> it becomes unstable, and I've had to push against it with my leg while working the puppets to stop it. In fact, in one place in New Zealand, uh, I did have someone watching the show from behind it, and had he not been watching, I would have just been surrounded by puppets everywhere because he pushed them back while I went on to the show. Then I've had legs fall off, but usually that hasn't been serious because sometimes the, the rod is enough to keep it pressed on the screen till I get the puppet off. And once I had to make the repair, I think it was to the hippo in that uh, circus item, uh, while the show was actually running, I was announcing, and now we meet the animals for the last time. I had to rush back to where I had a bit of sticky tape, and so, and I turned round and just caught sight of half the audience watching me repair the puppet. <laughs> I said, and now we eat the animals for the last time. <laughs> this next story is based on a legend of the Australian Aborigines, and it tells how the sun was made. Long, long ago, in the dream time, before there was any sun, Dinner One the Emu was trying to count her eggs in the dim light. One, two, three. No, that's not right. One, two, three, four. No. To make things work, Brolga, the native companion, came by and asked Dinner One to come and dance with her on the banks of the Murrumbidgee. Go away, said Dinnerwin. Can't you see I'm trying to count my eggs? Now, where was I? One, two, come and dance, said Brolga. Now you've made me lose count, said Dinnerwin. Go away, you silly bird, go away. And she pecked and pecked and pecked at Brolga with a strong beak. Then she jumped over her eggs and chased Brolga across the plain. High up in a gum tree, Gulgul Gaga, the kookaburra, chuckled as the two birds dodged each other about the trees. <laughs> but suddenly, Brolga dashed back to Dinnerwin's nest and kicked one of the large eggs up into the air. The egg went up into the sky and there it broke on a heap of firewood. And as the yellow yolk spilt all over it, the wood burst into flame, filling the sky with a wonderful light. Now, in the sky, there lived a good spirit. And when he saw this beautiful light, he decided to light such a fire every morning. And so, every evening, after the sun fire has burnt down to glowing embers. The good spirit gathers sticks to build the fire for the next morning. 